I'm here with Dr. Chris Bowie to talk about acidosis, which is something that occurs in greyhounds. Chris, can you tell us what acidosis is? Andrew, acidosis is a painful muscular condition. It's inflammation of muscles uh, associated with exercise. The dogs run too far or too hard or when they're not adequately prepared for it and they end up pulling up sore over the ensuing days and it, there's a varying degree of severity of it. Um, it can range from very mild muscle soreness through to major, major muscle breakdown. So greyhounds love to chase that lure and sometimes they obviously don't listen to their body and try and slow down, they'll keep going. So if their fitness levels aren't up to standard or, or up to running over the distance they've been put over, that can cause it? Absolutely. Um, it's usually associated with dogs that are run over a longer distance than they are prepared for, that they've been trained for, uh, running a much harder time, a much faster time, or in hot conditions where they can't cool down, or if they've got electrolyte imbalances. Uh, that can also predispose them to acidosis. So if a greyhound has just run a performance which is, say, really quick compared to its normal standards and you think, oh, this could be touching on the verge of acidosis, there's something you can do as a trainer? Um, as a preventative, um, making sure that the dog is really well hydrated and has some electrolyte supplementation and electrolyte replacement and providing the dog with a good nutritious meal within two hours of the race is most important to try to minimise the recurrence of the condition. Okay, so what are the signs that a greyhound has acidosis? Well, Dougie down here doesn't really have acidosis. Hop up, Dougie. He's really relaxed. Um, the common signs of acidosis are stiffness and soreness and it's a, it, it's a variable range of soreness from just very mild soreness through to severe soreness where the dog can hardly move and is almost cramping up as it tries to move. In the really, really severe conditions, the dogs dehydrate, don't want to move and they can actually die because of renal failure, kidney failure. When do we know whether to take a greyhound to a vet? in this situation? Okay, if, if you're checking your dog the next day after the race or two days after the race and you, you run your hand along his back and he's, and he's painful or if he's having difficulty getting up onto his bed or getting off his bed, you take him out into the paddock for a free run and he doesn't want to run and then you run your hand along his back and he's either painful through his saddle region or through his lumbar region, through his back area or if he's got tight painful legs and he's starting to scuff his toes at that point in time he should definitely be seen. If he's just got a minor muscle soreness and it's not seeming to progress, some anti-inflammatories may be all that he needs with uh, high levels of fluid intake in his food for the next four, five, six, seven days. Okay, so, and any other sort of treatment? What about exercise, rest? Obviously, you know, if, you, if I get you to go for a big run around this big block that we have here, uh, you might pull up a bit sore, I certainly would. And the muscle soreness is gonna persist for three to five days. Um, it's equivalent to a severe form of DOMS, the delayed onset muscle soreness in people. And so we don't want to be exercising this dog excessively because we don't want to be worsening the muscle uh, activity whilst it's recovering. So we want to be resting the dog, maybe some light walking for the first five to seven days. If it's a severe case, the dog needs hospitalisation, intravenous fluid therapy and um, pain medication. So what happens if acidosis isn't treated in a greyhound? It's also dependent upon the severity of the signs and the severity of the condition and, and how it's affecting the dog. In the low grade muscle soreness, the dog will usually recover quite happily. In the more severe cases with a large amount of muscle breakdown, they can go into renal failure and die because of renal failure. They can have severe muscle wasting to the point where they look uh, severely underweight, severely dehydrated, and that weight loss can stay with them for several months, trying to build the muscle mass back up again. Because the muscles don't have a really good ability to regenerate. Muscles that die, die, and they aren't replaced by new muscles. Well, the only way we can build up that muscle mass is to make the remaining muscle cells be bigger than they were initially by hypertrophy or getting larger. So that's why the dogs that lose lots and lots of weight with acidosis take a long time to recover. So with regard to racetrack performance, if it's a mild case of acidosis and treatment occurs properly and pretty much instantly, uh, a dog can get back to its 
normal performance? Oh, absolutely. You know, the milder forms of acidosis, the dogs can be back racing in two, maybe three weeks. And what about a severe case? Severe case, they might lose lots of weight and that weight might take two or three months to come back on. Their muscle mass might take two or three months to recover. So the time out for that dog could be two, three, four months. And can they lose lengths? Some of them lose so much muscle mass and the ability to have muscle power that they do lose lengths permanently. There you go, so super important to uh, be right on top of acidosis. Absolutely, and it's important that uh, they are treated and well hydrated before the race and after the race, especially in hot weather.